welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna from DW Backyard and Garden. Today I'll be doing hot pepper sauce and I'll be using peppers from my garden. So please stay tuned, sit back, watch and enjoy. Thank you very much for watching my channel today. So mum, what is so special about Jamaican hot pepper sauce? Jamaican hot pepper sauce is one of the best sauce you can ever taste. It's the best condiment you can use wherever you go, restaurants, hotels. The scotch bonnet has flavor. It packs a good punch. It's hot. The flavor is awesome. It's, I can't, it, you, you can't match it. The, the hot pepper sauce is the best as I can repeat myself. What can you say? Jamaica hot pepper sauce to the world. First to commence, once you've got your peppers, you will need to wash them clean. Also take the stems out. So this is what I'm doing. If you notice, I'm taking the stems out and you need to have your gloves. The glove is essential because you'll mistakenly put your hands in your face and they're very hot. And guess what? The consequences are dire. So yes, guys, so you see I'm taking the stems out and the reason for washing them, even though I picked them directly from the, um, the garden, when the rain falls, you'll have particles from the, um, the compost, the earth, you know, so you have a little bit of grit that, that sits in between the peppers. If you look in the ridges, you'll have a little bit of grit in there. So you need to wash them thoroughly and take these off well i've counted these peppers and i think I've, I've i've got over 200 peppers in this bowl here so guys i'm in the process of washing all the peppers you notice that i've picked the stems off so there's no stem on them these are so you make sure you're washed in the grit as I said to you before, they will have little sunny, earthy things in the corner there. So we need to wash them off. Wash them thoroughly. As well, make sure you have your gloves on, you know, because these peppers are no joke. You see what I'm talking about? Look at that. So these are the things that will be stuck in this in the glue. So wash them thoroughly. Also, let me cut one and show you how. Look at that. Look. So this is exactly so once i've washed them i put them when i've cut them basically you can blend them just the same but hey just cutting that and smelling that it is so mm, pungent really in a good way but the smell the flavor the aroma this is what you're going to get in the pepper sauce really good so those now we're going to the blender and we're going to blend those out and then you're going to need your onions and your garlic you need all the essential ingredients but you know some i mean doing pepper sauce you can easily do basic basic ingredients pepper garlic and salt or just onions with the garlic as well but i am today i'm using the garlic onions i'll show you what i'm gonna be using in a minute but yes you need your you see, you're gonna need your. Mm, I can. I'm gonna be coughing. See, you see that? So this is why I said that you need your gloves. And if you're new to doing your sauce, you will need to have. You may have to put goggles or mask on. But it's something that I do all the time, so I get used to it as well. So be mindful of people in your household because this will take over the whole house, and you can't sleep, you know, because these peppers are no joke. These are no joke. Look at them. Look at the vibrancy of the pepper. Look. You see that? What? And this comes from my garden. And this is basically one seed. You know that? One seed. This is one seed. In theory, the possibilities 
are there that you can get a hundred peppers off one tree but these I picked off a few trees because these ones were ripened before the others and the trees are still packed with peppers so guys this I'm an advocate for women and farming and you know gardening if it's not for you it's not for you but guys go out and try next year I'm here you can watch my channel and learn step by step okay right guys these are the things that I'm going to be using in my pepper sauce. The chochas going to be blended out with the onions. Got the onions here. So I've got onions and these are organic onions. And I've got leek. So leek will add a bit of nutty and um, sweet taste to the, um, the sauce. Also, I've got the lemon here, lime in, in, um, in this case. So that will kind of give it that zesty, you know, take a bit of the, the heat off the pepper. And garlic is a must. So the garlic will season the sauce. And also the chocho adds the body to the pepper sauce. And not forgetting that these chochos were picked directly from my garden. These are the dark green ones. And I've got the light green ones. Also to calm the sauce down. Because you know it's a very hot pepper sauce, you know. Remember, I have some mangoes here. So I'll be adding these mangoes to the sauce. So that will add a bit of sweet. So you're going to get the sweet, the tangy, the, the hot. They're going to get lots of flavors running on your tongue. All right. So I'm going to be blending these out. So that's the next process. All right, guys. Right, guys. The process is I've blended the garlic, the onions, the leek and the lime together. And this is what it looks like. But don't worry about it being chunky at present because remember you're going to be boiling the everything together and then you will be um processing everything after and you can get a smooth texture so if it looks like this that's okay so if you look you see the lime i've got a bit of lime here so the lime zest is inside of it but that will boil out tenderize and blend it out quite soft and smooth so this is what it looks like when you finished blending and also if you look over here you'll see i have the peppers wow that is a kick right there look how lovely that looks mm, step away you need a goggles on your mask <laughs> that is what hot pepper blended out in the process of making a sauce looks like wow see all the seeds in there mm. guys don't forget to um add your churches to the um this the the sauce remember this is one main ingredient that adds thickness to the sauce and it helps to reduce the the salt because remember you're gonna use salt in it as well so these are all the things that you will need so these chochas as you see I've diced it up and you're going you don't peer um, peel it or anything you blend it up just as it is so if you see that just slice them and then blend them out and add them to the sauce so there you go so these are some nice lovely chochas that are been picked from my garden look at that so guys chochas that goes into the sauce that adds body to the sauce so i'm adding sweet peppers also to the sauce if you look i've de-seeded the pepper and i'm using the orange and the yellow peppers also some red peppers here and what that does is add the sweetness to the sauce also i've blended the mango remember i said to you that i'm using mango to add that sweet taste as well so it doesn't burn so much so look at the texture so you don't want to use the mango direct into the pot because you'll have hairs into your sauce so that is blended out very smoothly very smoothly and then i will add that to the um the pepper and that will goes into the sauce to give it that flavor texture and taste so this is what the peppers looks like when it's blended 
but not forgetting that when you add this to the pot everything is going to be boiled softened and then you're going to puree everything it depends how you want your pepper sauce you can have it chunky or you can have it smooth so i'll do a bit of both but i'm just showing you the results of blending out the peppers see what it looks like here and it adds a bit of color to the pepper as well sauce here i have the blended peppers and i'm now going to be adding the vinegar and that vinegar is going to boil the pepper sauce you're going to add the amount that you'll need to keep you don't want too much but you're just going to use your discretion and then i'm going to add let me get this out for you i'm going to add my peppers These are the sweet peppers. So this is getting ready to be boiled at a certain temperature, but you have to watch when it's cooked, you'll know when it's cooked. And now I'm going to be adding all the garlic and the onions and the lemon and the chocho. So there it is. These goes into the sauce. You see, it's so it start to thicken up. Mm. Yes, guys. So this is the process, and this will cook, and then it needs to be cooled. So you can add your mangoes and your mustard. So I'm going to leave this to cook. And not forgetting, let me add the rest of the onions and the garlic. Whoa, pot might need changing, but let's see. Well, I think we have it's enough here. I might need to change the pot, but let's see. It should be all right. It's not gonna boil over. And also you will need salt. So I have here one cup of salt. And salt is a curing addi um, addition to the, the saw. And remember, you're going to add enough salt to your taste as well. So I'll be tasting this to make sure. So we're going to turn the fire up. And that's going to cook. See that? Not forgetting. You see how it looks chunky? It looks chunky. Let me get a bigger spoon. Hold on. It looks chunky because it's not finished yet so when it's finished we're gonna leave it to cool and blend it out smoothly so here we go if we have to change the pot that's not a problem these things happen in the kitchen you know that but you see it's coming into its own now see that so that's gonna be boiled and I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna do a little taste to make sure that it has enough salt. If not, we add more salt to it. If not, we may have to get a bigger pot and add more vinegar to it. But we don't want it too runny. It's This is a good texture here. I'm going to... Mmm! Wow! Oh! Oh, my word! You taste the garlic, mmm. You taste the onion, <clears throat> the lime. Wow. I am telling you, this is some sauce. You don't need any more salt. This is enough salt in there. Some people use honey to combat the taste, but I'm going to use a mango. And I also, let me show you. I have the mustard piccalilli sweet that's not that one let me show you sweet piccalilli really adds an, a finished taste to it and the mustard sweet piccalilli so this has a few ingredients in there you see that will tone the the taste of the pepper down it tastes good and and you know finish it you know it really tastes good so let me show you what oh you see it's well it says so this is what the piccalilli it has a a really nice taste 
people use they have ones that you use for the sandwich you know they can put that in a sandwich but i tell you so this will go in when the pepper is boiled and ready to be cooked and ready to be sorry <laughs> pureed mm. so guys keep tuned mm. this looks good this is heavenly man this is what you call nature's best donna cooking pepper sauce it lovely natural it's nice look you see that so anything that is chunky will boil out thank you very much guys keep tuned guys, as you can tell <laughs> i underestimated the amount of peppers i'll be using and hence i had to change the size of the pot so now it will cook much evenly and much better if you look you can see that it's boiling and it's much it's not um restricted to any any um space that it needs put it that way so that look at the color look at my pepper sauce and it's not done yet one over seven times it's done father so this is what it looks like when it's cooked if you notice it's reduced down and it's not too runny you don't want it too runny so it, once it's cooked as well you're gonna leave it to cool and you need to cover it and put a wet towel over to keep the um uh, <laughs> you don't want the people in the house to be crying out for pepper burning their eyes and their nose so that's another thing that you could do so here it goes so this needs to be cooled and then once it's cooled we're gonna blend it out with our mustard and our pickle sauce okay yes omg guys you can tell from my excitement that i've done my pepper sauce but bear in mind this is not the first time i've done it but i just want to make sure because i've done i'm doing it for you to see so this is what it looks like when it's cooked and then remember i said to you, it needs to cool down so once it's cooled down, then you're going to take it over and blend it out so it looks smooth. You can have it just as it is here, or you can have it smooth like this. But what I've added to this, so you can see the color. Look how bright and beautiful and nice and smooth the color is. So I've added my French mustard. That is a must. The mustard is a must. That's for me, though, because you don't have to do it that way. And I've added a sweet piccalilli this adds a flavor and the taste also not forgetting the smooth mango so when you oh listen this is the pepper sauce to die for listen the queue outside long already you know the queue outside long already the queue enjoy this is the texture of the sauce hey guys wow what a day it's been doing pepper sauce oh my god i enjoyed doing it though but i just want to say thank you very much for watching and please continue to support my channel you will get more and lively contents all the time so remember to press the thumbs up like and share guys all i can say you'll enjoy the authentic pepper sauce made from my garden thank you very much all right guys lovely lovely guys i love you too <laughs>